Welcome to the wonderful world of Strange Suspicion True Crime Series. sat there. See you later, Mr. Frog. You're cool. Freaking huge. Huge Nugent. <laughs> Hi, are you ready to receive a message? Today we'll be talking about in no particular order. P. Diddy Raids. The Delphi Case. Idaho 4 and Brian Koberger. And many more topics today on Strange Suspicion. Hey guys, welcome to Strange Suspicion. Welcome Red Rum crew. First thing I wanted to say was I noticed right when I came in like to the room, we were setting everything up, had a little mishap. I dropped my contacts, guys. I need new contacts. Anyway, um, Patty, Patty, if you're here, I saw that you're doing well and that you're not using your cane anymore. I am so, so happy to hear that. I was waiting to hear that. So if you're still in or if you're listening and you can't see me, maybe you'll see me. I'm smiling. Super happy for you. So um, what I want to get into today, the first thing that I wanted to just announce, which is kind of important for some of you who are up kind of late right now, we are going to do a special live on Saturday, this Saturday. Today is Thursday, guys, Friday, then Saturday. We're going to be doing a live at 12 20 in the afternoon on saturday eastern time this is so that our across the pond friends can enjoy their 420 with us so if you're available at 12 20 in the afternoon on saturday that's the next time we'll be getting together here um also i wanted to make an announcement today that if we make 100 subscribers uh, not, I'm sorry, not 100 subscribers, 100 viewers, we will be doing another giveaway. It'll be um, just as cool as the last time. And I wanted to see if anybody could let me know in the chat if you have any interest in our P.O. Box. We do plan on getting a P.O. Box on Monday, and we will be giving the address out for that for anything like case files or anything you wanted to send to us. We do have, um, I guess I have to wait five more minutes to say this, but um, okay. Anyway, so let's see. We were going to talk about P. Diddy today. I wanted to get into that first because it seems like that is a very, very big topic of interest on the news. I feel like it's kind of strange. So is it, first, let me just ask you guys in the chat. Are you guys like familiar with P. have to be living under a rock i don't the thing is guys i don't like i'm not just saying this either bob and i we never watch television like live television we don't watch it we don't watch the news we don't watch like sitcoms we don't watch stuff like that we like are pretty much limited to like horror movies and independent movies and youtube that's like that's our language we don't speak mainstream so i don't know if it's like everywhere i'm assuming that it is everywhere hello rock chalk i want to say hi to her she's saying hi to Herb, by the way, I just want to make it clear because like it's a very big misconception sometimes when we're in chat that Herb is Bob, guys. That's Bob. Herb Burnley. I don't know. Say it slow. Figure it out. It's a funny joke. Okay. Um, Nightbot, we put on there just so you guys know that was um, a suggestion from somebody that we get Nightbot because it like will do everything that mods will do and we don't have to like bother anybody to do that for us. Um, 
let's just say that uh, there is a topic of interest that I found this morning that besides the P. Diddy case that I found like, you know, I've been saying for a long time, guys, that when we, we do true crime, you know, we're going on assumption, we're going on presumption, we're going on theory, and we're going on speculation. And I did see something very interesting about that this morning from a very, very smart man. And his name is Ryan Upchurch. I don't know if Bob has that video ready, but I wanted him to maybe, Bob, once you can locate that. I think it's about the three minute mark. Ryan Upchurch was saying something very interesting about the true crime community this morning. And I have a lot of respect for the guy. I'm not a really big country music fan whatsoever, guys. Um, no offense to anybody who likes country music or enjoys Ryan Upchurch's music. I like a couple of his songs, but I do think he's a very, very smart person. He um, did a lot of work on the Kylie Rodney case, which I thought was really cool. And he even gave like a big reward for it and everything. But he was making a really good point how we were making the other week about everybody's looking at the blurbs, we're looking at Linda Lane. We're looking at, by the way, Linda Lane is about hundred, uh, I'm sorry, 300 feet away. That's important for the end of the stream when we discuss Brian Koberger. Sorry about that noise. Um, I'm like all over the place on medication right now. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get into the P Diddy thing first. And I wanted to just make it really clear that a lot of people for many years have believed that like the Illuminati has been controlling everything, the music industry, Hollywood, all kinds of things. And in order for people to be involved in, in a society like whatever people are calling the Illuminati, they have to do like humiliation rituals. There has to be like different um, levels of power. And the way that some people, my, my personal opinion on this P. Diddy thing is that it's a humiliation thing. I know a lot of people are hung up on the sexuality aspect. I, I could give a crap if P. Diddy's straight or gay or bisexual. It makes no difference to me. I'm not in a relationship with him, so it's absolutely none of my business. But he has been accused of some pretty nasty, nasty crimes involving young people, involving drugs, um, it looks like Bob found the P. Diddy clip. So we're going to do the P. Diddy clip. I'm going to organize what I'm going to say and go on mute for just one second. But let's enjoy this Ryan Upchurch thing and discuss it in chat while he plays it. All right, Bob. Do you guys have any sound? Okay, they don't have any sound. Okay, I, it's okay, Bob. Um, basically, we're we're trying to maneuver. StreamYard is really awful, guys. Um, wow, Jeff, that's pretty late. Actually, so what I was going to show you was there's a video that Ryan Upchurch did this morning, and basically he's like, how are you going to theorize theories of theories and people who are assuming assumptions off other people's assumptions in there? You know what I mean? So, like, we need to be fair, guys, and realize that, like, we're trying to do the right thing here, but there's no way that we know everything that there is to know about this case. And unlike some channels, I've said that from the beginning, and... um. Yeah, so there's an elephant in the room. Let's let's talk about the um, true crime drama. Not. I'm <laughs> just kidding, guys. We're not going to talk about drama here ever again. So what we're going to get into now, since that um, clip didn't work, was the P. Diddy thing. I am very aware of the P. Diddy um, scandal involving people like Cat Williams and people like Justin Bieber. And I believe there was a woman who also recently um filed a lawsuit against him and it was either recently or in the last couple of years that she filed a lawsuit where he was sexually assaulting her on video he forced her to have sexual relations with prostitutes against her will i i feel like as i was getting at before that i feel it's like a humiliation thing and it's a power thing i don't think it has anything to do with p diddy's sexuality and even if it did it doesn't make any difference to me but i think the fact is that he wanted to use things for blackmail and what's interesting to me is when you blackmail somebody 
it's not just to blackmail them. It's usually to cover yourself. So if P. Diddy had something in his past that he didn't want to get out, he would be real easy to like get people and give them homes and give them cars and give them careers and give them a life beyond their means so that they would have that loyalty and they would have that like connection with him that that could never break. The things that people are saying, you guys, that P. Diddy has done to famous people, to give them fame is just awful. And Boots, yeah, let me put this comment up. Boots says, I remember watching over 10 years ago when the now wiped Justin B interview came out. I believed him then and it hasn't changed. I do believe actually that that was on his own personal YouTube, if that's the one you're talking about. And I actually looked for that today. I was like, where is that? He was very upset. It was when he went into the time of his depression and he was talking about, it was right before he had gotten married, I believe. And he was talking about the fact that he felt a lot of pressure from um, not just um, Usher and P. Diddy, but also from Ellen. There were people at award shows who were touching him inappropriately and speaking to him inappropriately. There was a woman who was interviewing him on a Canadian, I believe it was Canadian radio show, and um, wanted to make out with him. I think he was like 14 years old. It's it's incredible what Hollywood has done and the music industry has done. And I do understand that it is very, very dangerous to stand out of that crowd that does things like, like the blackmail, like the humiliation rituals, like the deals for the, you do this and I'll give you a record deal for this. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's, it's just sick. And I know that sometimes it can be deadly. So I'm just going to give a premonition here that somebody's going to go off the radar really soon. And the only reason I'm saying that is because we've discussed it before here, guys. Chris Cornell and Chester Bennington did try to make light of people in the music industry who were involved in human trafficking and sex trafficking, not only of people who were supposed to have been given deals like for their music and for their talents of acting and whatever else they were going to get fame from. But they also like were doing like, gr like grooming and human trafficking and drug trafficking of like regular folk. You know what I mean? So when they stood out, all of a sudden Chester Bennington, or no, who was first? Chris Cornell was first found hung in Detroit at the, do you know what that was called, Bob? The MGM Grand something? Yeah, the MGM Grand Hotel, I believe. Hello, by the Hello. way. <laughs> everyone in chat. Yeah, and, and he was, I believe, the top of his head. He had like an injury to the top of his head as he, hi, Casey, as he um, hung from the, it was like the um, physical what do you call it? His uh, trainer, his physical trainer had one of those um, yeah, bendy exercise like band. exercise band. And that's what he was supposedly hung with. But he had injuries to the top of his head and injuries to his um, ribs after he had just performed in like the same building. Right. Is that in the same building? Do you know uh, the MGM Grand where they perform? Or is that just a. I'm, it's not this, I'm not sure if it's the same building, but I know it's if it's not the same building, it's close. I'm not really sure. Sorry. So I think, do you agree or disagree that, do you think it is just a little bit suspicious that um, right after he announced he was going to do something about the human trafficking and the drug trafficking and exposed people in the industry that he was found hung with injuries that are not consistent to hanging? Do you think that's a little weird or? I thought it was very strange. I wasn't there wasn't there something else in the bathroom that they found i can't i'm what not else? sure what else was it was it, there wasn't drugs involved right no drugs involved whatsoever but then the other thing i was going to point out that's interesting is that his um partner in the fact that they were going to expose this group of people that they said they had a little black um book was chester bennington and yeah. if you guys aren't familiar with Chester Bennington. He sang in a, a band called Lincoln Park. And um, I thought it was connected because of the fact that Chris Cornell, you know, unalived himself. And when he unalived himself, he had a birthday. It was a month or two later. 
And that's when Chester Bennington unalived himself the night before his whole family came back from a vacation, right after like being on a tour for a while. And it happened on Chris Cornell's birthday. So I feel like maybe maybe as an Italian, I feel like it's a message. Do you know what, what I mean? About, like what about Corey? Corey. White Michael Jackson Corey. What do you mean? Corey Feldman. <laughs> Oh, Corey Feldman. He's alive, though, right? Yeah, yeah, he's the live one of the Corys. He was supposed to have a documentary. Remember that? Mm, that's right. Whatever happened to that? I don't know. I'll be right back. Okay, no problem. Um, okay, so let's see. Rip Aaron Carter. Oh, yeah, Rock Chalk. Good point. Yeah, Aaron Carter. That's right. Aaron Carter. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Aaron Carter. Poor kid. Like he, he's like, he's a victim of a lot of things. Oh yeah. There you go. There you go. Look at that voodoo doll. Very cute. So, uh, okay. So they're talking about Aaron Carter. Rock Chalk's talking about Aaron Carter. Yeah. That was, that was, I don't know a whole lot about that, but I do know that, that he was found, um, you know, like OD'd in the bathtub. Yeah. Remember allegedly. Okay. And Feldman, you're right, Cyborg Mama. I don't know if you said it or if 13th Hour said it. Yeah, Corey Feldman is a creep. <laughs> He's an absolute creep. He's a fruititarian, which means he only eats fruit. And he lives with Corey's angels or used to live with Corey's angels, which is like, I Aren't think, they like, yeah, they're like in his band, I think. They're like dancers <laughs> in his band. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. That's awful. <laughs> no, that's awful. No, okay. like those Justin Bieber videos that I wanted to play. I mean, I, I could still try it. I don't know what's going on, but that one really freaking creeped me out. Like and Star Stargate Sleuth right there on the screen. Do you see that as well? Bob Saget died in a hotel room with a head injury. Yeah. Absolutely. They're taking them out, guys. <laughs> They're really like, I, go, I, I don't know. I don't want to sound like a conspiracy theorist, but I'll tell you this. When somebody hangs, it's always a red flag for me because that's when somebody unalives themselves, what they do in the press and what they do in a local government and what they do it in a newspaper and what they do it on the news is they leave it alone. Okay. It's very sad. I, I've had six people in the last two years unalive themselves that are close to me it, it is not any less sad but the point is when it happens they back off everybody they back off if if they remember the guy from um glee i don't know how old everybody is but i have child or children and they used to watch glee okay and that guy supposedly with the, the the guy that played puck with the mohawk he supposedly unalived himself in a public park all these people were accused these people who who i've mentioned are either uh, exposing or have been accused of sexual trafficking of young people which i find very coincidental that they're all unaliving themselves in the exact same way that people leave alone you know what i mean there's no there's no, um, there's no investigation when it's something that emotional. They're, sometimes they will investigate it if it's a big stink. Like celebrities, it should be. Regular people, I think it should be even more so than celebrities. But I feel like if somebody was about to expose somebody, it should raise a red flag. There were, for Chester and Chris Cornell, I do know that there were senators, there were congressmen, there were record label people, there were the Weinsteins. There were so many people involved in like the sexual trade and drug trafficking and third world countries like bringing people over to, to, to have sexual slavery and have, have people working and human trafficking them into the country in exchange for things that are absolutely illegal and absolutely immoral. So I, as far as this P. Diddy thing, I don't know what your thoughts are in the chat, but I'll tell you that to me, it's a lot bigger than P. Diddy. I, I don't think this is like a, what's that guy's name? R. Kelly. I don't think this is like an R. Kelly thing. I don't think it's like a bunch of, a bunch of female victims like coming forward. I think it's like 
huge. You know what I mean? Like, I think it's big drugs. Like, there was that kid, uh, what was his name, Bob? Brendan Paul? Is that his name that they arrested? Yeah, Brendan Paul. He was a basketball player for Syracuse. He was the mule. Right, right. And I'm wondering if maybe you guys know in chat, was this drug mule from Syracuse, this basketball star? Was he on Greek Row? I mean, all this weird society stuff, like all mixing in together and all these celebrities getting all crazy. Like, is this a distraction? Is this a psyop? Who freaking knows, right? We need to figure out what is going on with our society and like all these like strange little media tricks that they're playing on us and all these like, like, are you serious? Since when does uh, a big court case for a death of two beautiful girls, since when do they need to crowdsource to get expert witnesses paid? What is this? I just saw this today, guys. Like, wow. <laughs> like, what do you mean? An expert needs to be paid in the first place. That that bothers me for one. There's two girls who lost their lives and they need to crowdsource or crowd. Does anybody know what that's called? I've never, I've never done that. But it's like some kind of thing where you put all your money together and you say, hey, let's pay for the expert witnesses so that we can solve the Delphi case. Who in the immoral hell? thought that one up like i'm pretty sure moscow idaho is not asking for money for expert witnesses and it's a much bigger like they don't even have any idea who did it they think brian koberger did it but i wouldn't put money on brian koberger did it and what about the judges brandy right who are these people i don't understand that I'll, I'll remind you guys like i it's awful for me to say because i don't vote myself i don't think that it's fair i don't think that my vote counts i I'm not very confident in the judicial system. I could if I chose to, but just keep in mind, guys, that if you do vote, I would ask people who have been sentenced by a local judge of yours before you put your vote on that piece of paper. I'm not going to talk about politics any more than that. I'm just going to say these judges are elected, and that sucks because a lot of them, you know, like when, when I did care to vote, a lot of the times I just was like, oh, whoever, 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 whoever. I didn't know them. I didn't know their names. I didn't know them from anybody. But I do notice like Kyle Rittenhouse. I notice um, whoever the judge was with the guy who ran over the people at the parade. And um, Judge Judge and Judge Gull. All, the, all these people, like they must be in their position for so long that they're just going cuckoo. Like, I don't understand how it all runs together in their minds that like, oh, we'll let this one go and we'll let this one go. And we'll, poof, nobody's going to remember this. Like the judge in the OJ Simpson trial, everybody, you know what I mean? Like, I'm just, just uh, trying to keep up all with all your messages. It's hard to, you guys are going kind of fast. Okay, lock up. Andrew Tate arrested for same thing finally out, but said he was connected to Sean Combs. Oh my gosh. I, I mean, do you guys know who Tupac is? Pretty sure. Oh my gosh, Jeff, be careful. <laughs> Jeff, you guys, you guys, we gotta watch out for Jeff. He's driving behind a 2014 to 2016 white Hyundai Elantra. Oh, well. Pull him over. Do a citizen's arrest, Jeff. That's what I would do. There you go. Yeah, it does all feel very hopeless. And um, let's see what this one says. Look up. Yeah, you know what? It is. It is. Um, it is something that Bob and I do pay very close attention to the the child. Um, trafficking situation. It's something that is near and dear to our hearts because we feel that it is easily, easily preventable and easily punished. But for some reason, we see day after day after day that people get away with victimizing children. And nothing in this world makes me more sad than children being victimized, whether it's Ruby Frank or whether it's um, 13th Hour, you know what I'm talking about. The people who we got to call fried pickles for. You know what I'm saying? 
um, or whether it's a teacher or a lawyer or a judge or a priest or whoever the heck it is victimizing these kids, I wish we could get rid of every single one of them. But when they have some kind of fame and they have some kind of prestigious life or they're, they're looked up on a pedestal, like people think more of them than everybody else, it seems that they get a deal. But I feel like just like do we don't have that video, do we, Bob, where Kanye was freaking out? He was freaking out, you guys. We saw Kanye West, and you know how everybody makes him out to look like he's crazy. Like he was talking about how his children were gone and he didn't know where they were. And like P. Diddy and a whole bunch of people were like around his kid, and he didn't know like an address to find his kid at. Like he was bringing up how Justin Bieber was. Um, 48 hours with P. Diddy or whatever. And P. Diddy told him when he turned 16, he was going to let him have a Lamborghini. When he turned 18, he was going to give him a mansion. But it turned out that he didn't know where anything was. And he was pointing out that a lot of people who have that status get deals with their... Sorry, Bob's just adjusting my mic and I was smiling because he's cute. Um, so people who are in those positions, like celebrity positions and people who, you know, people look up to or have host events and have, you know, come to schools and do like speeches and encourage people. Those kind of people are the people to get deals. Those those are the kinds of people that get like overlooked. Like what was his name? Epstein. Epstein had his own freaking island, you guys. He got kicked out of every country he lived in, so he just made his own place to live. Like, why? Why wasn't he locked up in a prison in any one of those countries? Why was he allowed to leave? Because of money, which, which was a very interesting thing, I thought, that his money made so much of a difference that we were looking up. Bob and I saw things like, uh, what's her name? Ashley Judd, Winona Judd. One of them was on his plane with her whole family. Like, what is she doing? I don't understand any of that. But, like, Bri the Brian Koberger case has a lot to do with money as well. I just want to bring that up, like, as we're on the subject, because I feel like Brian, the Brian Koberger case is what we've all focused on the most on this channel. And I feel like there is a lot of interesting things coming up in the case as far as like his alibi is concerned. There was, you know, a little bit of um, chatter, I should say, in the comment section. And it was a, it was a nice little banter. Let's, let's like, let's be cool about it, guys. You know, some of you reacted to it. I reacted to it. Let me just make this very clear. Um, when you are in the United States, since we're not all in the United States, I'm going to say it because maybe you guys don't realize when you read the chats, but we do have people from the United States. We do have people from the UK. We have people from South Africa. We have people from Spain, Belgium, Scotland, Ireland. Um, let me see what I got here. France, Germany, New Zealand, Australia, and so on. So a lot of you have different laws than we have. But just so you know, in the United States, we do not have to prove our innocence ever, 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 ever in a court of law. Never are we required to do such a thing. The prosecution, on the other hand, must prove beyond a reasonable doubt or 51% or something that we are guilty beyond a reasonable doubt. So the, the comments that we got, I, I forgive you if you didn't know, and I forgive I hope you forgive me for disagreeing, but that's not how it goes. Like you were wrong and, and that's, it's unfortunate, you know, sometimes that that's how it is, but it is the truth that nobody, you, me, your dad, your mom, your neighbor, anybody has ever required to prove they, they didn't do something. I just wanted to say too, real yeah. quick, just because there was DNA there too, does not mean he's guilty. Right. There's three other. There's we were just three others. Right. Yes. Right. And we, we did cover that. Like we, we covered that pretty. You. We covered that pretty early on. If you guys are new here, um, I think it was my third video ever on this channel <laughs> that I said three untested male DNAs. We got so much backlash about it. Now it's on like all the channels. Like 
in the last 24 hours, like, whoa, there's untested male DNA is great. Well, who are they and why were they not tested? Now, those are inadmissible DNAs. So then what what happens to Brian is that they say, oh, hey, um, now tell us more about your alibi. And that's, that's where the confusion is for me. Like, what? why? Why would we need him to say any more about his alibi if you don't have to prove you're innocent? Well, kind of like what we were kind of touching on in our last video. There could be GPS data that backs up where he was with his phone signal. Um, I mean, I don't know. We're all guessing pretty much. <laughs> You know what I mean, until we yeah. honestly, until it honestly comes out in court, like what is what, and you know, they don't know. But <clears throat> no, they don't. Like, like the three DNAs though that weren't tested, the one was on a cigarette, correct? Cigarette butt, right. and the other two was one on a glove or one on a, or just in the house. Do you know? I thought they said one was on a glove, one was on a cigarette. And one was inside the house. Okay. And then Brian's, wherever, on the knife, allegedly, <laughs> on the knife sheath, um, brass. What were we talking about earlier about the, the footage between the houses and things? Oh, you and I? Yeah. Um, we were mm -hmm. actually talking about sure. the Wi-Fi signal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, did you want to talk about that too a little yeah. bit? Like, yeah, what are, what and are if there are any techies in the chat, you can correct me if I'm wrong, and I'm being serious. Um, so we were we were thinking about it, right? So there's these these untested male DNAs. There's this furniture strewn about. There's like a ladder on the house. There's connections to the Wi-Fi. Okay, so I'm like, wait a minute, Bob. So if I live next door, you know, you guys know, like here's one one two two. And then right about over here, where my finger's pointing. So there's their driveway. Here's this house, the blue one. That house right there could have an open Wi-Fi. If that house didn't have Wi-Fi, the house could connect to the school's Wi-Fi if it were close enough. So Bob checked, right? Well, what I saw was most Wi-Fi will go about 300 feet. And... 300 feet is about, you know, a little, is it little under football, football field. So. So the interesting thing about that is. Anybody that on that block. Anybody right. on that block. It's going to be the old block. It's going to be all of the Linda Lane apartments. Yeah. And how so many. They're all using that school's Wi-Fi. That proves nothing. That does not prove that Brian was connected to their Wi-Fi. It's proving that he was connected to a Wi-Fi. Right. Yeah. Where's Dill? We don't know. We don't know where Dill is. Dang it. I think they just said hi to Dill. Oh. Dill, are you in here? I don't know if we have any mods in here. We, yeah, we do. We got quite a bit. We do? Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. It's hard for me to see. Um, so I try to scroll. When they're up on the screen, it's a lot easier for me. That's all. Oh, no, he isn't here. Okay, so we got 13th hour. She is a mod. Cyborg Mama, she is a mod. Sleepy's in here. She's a mod. <laughs> <laughs> the dog's a mod, guys. Only three Am DNAs. I a mod? Yeah, you're a mod. <sighs> Dang, guys, I want to do a giveaway, and I'm waiting for for a hundred viewers. So anyway, let's let's uh, what what video? Oh, you had problems with the videos. I mean, okay, I can try. Time, I can... One more time, you guys. I'm gonna do this a couple times during the chat. If you are from across the pond, will you put a one in the chat? And if you don't know what that means, if you're not in the United States and you're over there on the other side of the ocean, please no, stay. Have you met phone. any of these people at your local coffee shop recently? Hey, there you go. What's up? Uh, I was playing in the background. Sorry. I, I'm going to try to get this video to work again if I can. Okay, well, let me just real quick. Yeah, so, um, the Saints number one, Jane. Um, I'm just going to. Oh, hold on. There's something important here. Jane and the Saints number one. I just wanted to say to you guys that I was trying to. Um, 
accommodate some people in the UK who had emailed me. And if you guys have time on Saturday, I'm going to say this a couple times so you guys can get it. You guys all know that I post videos. Bob and I post their videos Mondays and Thursdays at 420. We also do lives on Saturday nights. Well, the problem with doing a live on Saturday night is that it's Saturday night, right? And you guys like to have fun in the UK and over there, anywhere else over there, just as much as anybody else does. And your Saturday night should kind of be yours, you know? So if you're available tomorrow, I mean, not tomorrow, Saturdays, this Saturday anyway, at 420, your time, UK time, that's when the live starts. Everybody else, it's noon on Saturday, uh, or noon 20, 12 20 Eastern time in the afternoon on Saturday. And we'll be going pretty long um, on Saturday. So, what was that? Yeah. <laughs> 420, right. 420, come early. That's right. 420 will come early in the United States on Saturday, but it will come just on time in the UK. So, here we go. 420 p.m. Saturday will be the live. That's the second time I mentioned it, and I'm writing it down because you guys are coming in and out. I see you guys from across the pond, so that's my second time. I'm going to do it five times in this stream. Looks like we got 58 people in 59 people, and that's getting close <laughs> to the 100 mark. I see this on the screen. It's big enough for me to see. Strange, there's an adapter that will allow someone to hack into a Wi-Fi. It allows the person to see who is in the room through a heat sensor. Sounds like something Brian Koberger would know about or any any um, IT student for that matter, but I believe he had a cloud forensics de degree. It's important to point those things out too, KC. Is that what you were, is that where you were meaning by that? That maybe Brian had that or somebody? Well, you definitely know about it because he had the, he knew you know, most than the regular person, like that's not something I would know more knowledge or, yeah, right? or think about, but I, th I think if he's in like criminology, that's, you're going to know all the new technology, right? You're not going to be like, um, right. <laughs> I wonder how to see if they're, I mean, here. I have my problems with technology, but come on, man. Like, yeah, but I feel like younger, the, like the younger generation, they're, way more skilled than us like i can't well you know, yeah they're right i, I mean that's how i learned it. anything that's how i, I learned to run stuff i just messed with it like i messed up so many computers just hitting stuff and doing stuff i wasn't supposed to and same with like phones i you know like when i first got a phone 10 years ago or whatever the good a good phone i went over it day and night learning how to use it you know but right Sorry. No, it's okay. Just like just like we were talking about early um earlier Bob says Bob was asking me like we were talking about the um the fact that when when you guys I don't know if you guys know this and it it might be helpful for you to know this that when you donate to the YouTube like to our uh what do you call it um what do you call those? I don't even know what they're called. Uh, super, super stickers. Super uh, something. Super right. thanks. That, they take 60% of that. Or 40 or something like that. So when when he was like, we were talking about that, and I was like, wow, that's crazy. Why do they take so much? And then I was like, we should put your cash app up. And we didn't even know how to do it, you guys. Like, we didn't even know. Like, he's like, is there a space? Is there not? We didn't even know how to do it. Like, that's how little we know about certain technology. Like, I wouldn't know. And KC knew about, I don't know what, the, did she say what the adapter was called or that it was an adapter? Do you know what I'm saying? She said it was just on the screen. Are you asking me? Yeah, yeah, I'm asking you. Oh, you, you she said there was an adapter you can hook in in the wall, and and it also oh, here it is. Okay, yeah, I got it. She said she has to look it up. She'll get the name. Cool. See, look at that. So helpful. Yeah, but anyway, I think that the technology, as far as um, that, like the, even the apps they were using, we didn't know about that. We didn't know about uh, what was it called? Yik Yak. I never heard of that one. Right. I don't know what Yik Yak was. I don't know that there's, you know, I, I barely know anything about young people technology. Like I, I'm not even good with the instrument. I have no, I have no interest in that. Like, right. Uh, <laughs> like, what are we going to do on there? Like, I mean, obviously I'm had a Facebook and 
had a stupid uh, MySpace and all that crap. But, I liked MySpace because you could put your songs on it. Oh, yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember the friend list thing? You're like, oh, you ain't on my or friend list. Like or five, or five, yeah, or ten, or whatever it was. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember that. Shit. I do. I do. And People are so it. mad if they weren't, right? Right. They're like, why am I not on your top? Like, my mom used to do that, I think, when I first had it. So did mine. Weird. This <laughs> <laughs> is like, send me my farm bill stuff. Like, like I'm, I'm not in your top 10? I'm like, okay, mom, you know. Come on. Exactly. Okay, so let's see. Um, were I you going die. to try that video then? I was interrupting you. No, I think we should just, we could play my uh, little thing. You know, my little uh, strange. Oh, yeah, guys, guys. So um, it is time for Weird Bob's Strange Minute. There you go, babe. Okay. Here we go. Creepy clown Christ. My dude. <laughs> he wants some Dunkin' Donuts. Go hit him. Hit him. Let's see. What is he doing? Are they gonna give him a donut? Are oh, they gonna give him a donut? Oh my god. Do it. Throw him the donut. Oh, look at him waiting. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> god damn, boy, could you get more dramatic? Let me put it to you this way What's the difference between a dead squirrel laying in the road? and a dead clown laying in the road. I don't know. There are skid marks in front of the squirrel. You roll that around in your coconut for a while, big shot. <laughs> that was Weird Bob's Strange Minute. <laughs> Yay. Did you like my strange minute, everybody? It's pretty strange. <laughs> Did, what's and, uh, the, what's your thing can about? anybody name can anybody name that um actor at the end in the chat? I know you can, Bob. I know 13th hour can. Did did you like did you like the little raccoon getting a donut? A Duncan. A Duncan? You think he? What do you think he dunks a donut in? He probably uses like that that cold coffee. The cold oh cold coffee you think? Yeah, like iced coffee. Because yeah. you know he can't keep it hot because he's a raccoon. It's got to be like out in the elements. Yeah. Well, burn his little burn his little feelers. <laughs> yeah. You don't want that. All right, let's see. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, Sid Hag. Uh, you guys are right. Sid Hag, Captain Spaulding. Okay, so now that we're for Del Hole is in the building. So now that we are at 44 minutes, I was waiting, guys, because you have to wait nine minutes to say certain things. So this is way past nine minutes. What I was going to say is we have we will be letting you guys know next week our specific P.O. box number. Okay. Um, I have gotten a little bit of interest from TikTok from a clothing company. They sell t-shirts and they are a juggalo company. I do want to support every member of the Red Rum Crew, the Strange Suspicion Red Rum Crew community. And if you did want to promote something on our channel, we do have the option to do that on YouTube. And the only way that it's like beneficial for both of us is if this is free. So I will be getting some t-shirts from this company. So for that reason, I will be, we're, we're getting a PO box. So if there's anything you want us to promote, you know, like it's kind of incognito, like I'm wearing like a, just a hoodie with a pumpkin on it. But at one point I'll be wearing something else. And then I, I will put it in the um, channel description, just, you know, like helping juggalos out helping community members paid members non-paid subscribers whatever out do you know what i'm trying to say bob can you say it a different way do you know what yeah, I mean? we're, we're we're helping family out right you're helping us and we're helping you 
Right. Uh, so we get a free shirt or a free candle or whatever the heck you make, and we'll we'll put it in the background. We'll put it. We'll make it like real well known. It won't cost you anything at all. Like just you guys are watching us. It helps us. So if you had a shirt that said, if Thirteenth Hour had a shirt, she sent us a shirt and it said Thirteenth Hour Productions, you know, and I wore it, and then my video got ten thousand views. That would help her out, but I don't want to charge anybody anything for anything. So I just wanted to make it known that once we announce the PO box, you are free to do such a thing. You are not free to stalk us. <laughs> you are not free to drive around the city that our PO box is in because it's not even going to be where we live. So you'd be out of luck and I don't know. <laughs> There'd be no point. There'd be no point. We're good people. If you ever wanted to say hi to us or whatever, we wouldn't. you wouldn't have to be psycho about it. That's all I can yeah. say. I also yeah. wanted to say real quick that I'm working on shirts. I, I did put a design together. Um, Do you depending have on, the, No, I did. Do you remember that shirt I showed you last night? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I meant, um, do you have like a, a file they could see? Uh, I'm going to try. Are, you are kind of a stalker, Tani. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tani's awesome. Tani's on our um TikTok at all times, and so is Cyborg Mama at all times. And I love both of you and anybody who's come over here from TikTok. Oh my gosh, guys. I don't know if you're watching. Please, please, please stay up with the community posts, guys. Please. Okay. I have put so many community posts up about our subscriber count went up in the last 28 days, almost 1,200 people. And if we get another thousand in the next month which we already surpassed that this month we're growing so big you guys if we could do that we would have a youtube store where you could just order directly from youtube and get these coffee mugs and i, I think you guys said tote bags you wanted bob thinks that we should make makeup bags coffee cups things like that things that i think coffee cups are great and tani actually sent a really really cool design um so any of you that wants to, you know, like throw out a design idea, that'd be great. We'll give you some, whatever the merch is that you're designing, we'll give you whatever, like a coffee cup for free or whatever. Um, but I do, I do want to encourage you guys also to go over to Strange Suspicion at TikTok. And Tani, if you could post a link for that, I don't even know my name on TikTok, but you guys can see a lot of things on TikTok you can't see here. Like you could see my face. And um yeah, I don't, I don't, uh, maybe I should show the TikTok. Yeah, let me see. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So I wanted this person to be on screen. Um, hey, P and Bob, about the Diddy thing, all this happening to him because he's pissed off powerful Jewish heads in the liquor industry. He called them racist. He got kicked out of the club. Oh yeah. You know what? I just actually heard that he owns a company. Because I was like, where is all his money coming from? I mean, obviously for music whatever but he also um he has some kind of vodka company is that right i know dan Aykroyd does too jeff would buy one of our coffee mugs yeah it was vodka it was like a weird name i don't remember because you asked me if i'd ever heard of it and i was like no i wouldn't right. drink yeah i never oh. heard of it like ever drink anything p diddy made <laughs> right yeah it doesn't even sound good <laughs> sounds like yeah um yeah my real face yeah jane you can see my real face you can totally see. you know what the funniest part about this guys is all you have to do is go to strange suspicion like click on our channel name right and then it'll say videos it'll say live it'll say shorts it'll say playlists go ahead and play the crap out of those playlists guys um you go to shorts right click on shorts and you guys there's like two of them. You don't even have to watch the short and my real face is right there. But you know what? You probably prefer this face. That's all I can say. It makes me, I feel like it makes me like a little more, uh, I don't I don't know what the word is. A little more I, mysterious, I, a little I, more, I, you know what I mean? Like I want to not... apologize about your mic too. It sounds like actual complete 100% butthole, and I can't fix it. Crap. We're, we're working on a new mic. 
hmm. for lives anyway. I mean, that was supposed yeah, to be. We're trying, you guys. I, I just, I'll just say it. We can be vulnerable. So we, we've had. Um, for those of you that don't know, I have a medical issue going on, and I am on the mend. Let's be clear about that. I'm on medication. I'm almost done with the regimen of medication they're giving me. Um, it stems from migraines. It goes to my brain, the stem of my brain. Um, we have had a lot of issues trying to cover certain things that insurance doesn't cover. So we had a mishap with the contacts today. We had a mishap with this microphone right here. Um, and it needs to be replaced. So if you guys have any issues hearing me, will you please just say it in the chat? Because it, it's I just can kind of like it. I can. It sounds like it's blown out and I can't like make it go down anymore. I've tried it. It just, I don't know. It's fine though. What we're, we're 51 minutes in. Um, can, let me, let me just ask them. You guys, can you, you can hear me fine in chat or is it, I'm so sorry. I, you guys, they put me on these like pills that like make me like I've dropped things a lot now. And I like, I, I think I knocked over the end table, like in the, it was bad <laughs> on the way into the bedroom and like and I walked in and then all of a sudden the that I touched something, dropped my drink and the whole end table fell over. And I feel like I'm like 80 years old on this medication and it's going to be all finished very soon. I hope <laughs> because I can't, I want to get back to normal. I want to, you know, relax and enjoy some 420. I want to get up and around. I, I plan on going to the gathering if you guys know what that is in, I think it's in August. So that's plenty of time, but it is a bit fuzzy. Moonville says it sounds fine. I'm fine. We're both clear. Maybe I didn't break it. That's cool. I think it's partly to do with the microphone itself and StreamYard. I don't know if I wish I could figure this out better. Like it's like, I'm it sorry. works perfectly when we're not live. And then it's like when we go live, nothing works right. I don't get it. But I'll figure yeah. it out someday. It's not a big deal. Right? Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Okay. We, we'll have we'll be able to like I'm done with my medication next week, so I think. <laughs> right? So we'll have, we'll be fine. Um yeah, who's mentioning other channels? I don't know. It's all right, guys. Don't don't worry about it. You know, um, as far as other channels, uh, I don't have anything to say. <laughs> so I can tell you. I have nothing to say bad, nothing to say good, nothing to say at all about other channels. I would rather just move forward as a community because I feel like there's a lot of um, those passing the left. I want some so bad. I can't. Um, so what I was saying about other channels is that like, I have respect for every creator on YouTube for getting on YouTube and doing what they do. I just want to point out that everybody in this genre that we're speaking of today, as in like Bob and I are not just true crime. We've been a lot of true crime, but a lot of the true crime people, they have their own like style and they have their own like gifts and they have their own like, you know, not, I sound like Enon Harsh, like, 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 like they all have their own touch in their own gift. And I don't think that we should compare ourselves. I don't think that we should like avoid talking about each other or talk about each other. You know what I mean? I think we should meet like in the middle a little bit. And if somebody has drama with somebody else, well, then they have drama with that person. You know what I mean? As far as like mentioning other channels in my chat, I'm just responding just so you guys know why I'm bringing this up. I'm responding to somebody in chat saying, please don't bring up other channels. Um, yeah, if you're going to promote another channel in the chat, um, that's fine, but specifically don't say like, go watch this video on this person's because they have their subscribers and we have our subscribers and some of us share subscribers, but at the same time, we all have a different opinion. I watch three true crime channels. So to be honest with you guys, if you think that we're all keeping track of each other. We're probably not. Like, I enjoy a lot of different kinds of content other than true crime. And I hope you guys do, too, because otherwise you live a very stressful life. And so as far as promoting another person, like, I know Jeff 
I think maybe it was Jeff saying that he had a, um, sorry. He said he had a um, coffee mug from Crime Circus, a coffee mug from JLR, a coffee mug from, I can't remember the other one. <laughs> but he was saying all that. And that's cool. I didn't realize, like, I don't know, like, what kinds of merch do you guys like? Let's change it to that. Let's change the subject to that. Like, Great. I, I personally, a I would love to do a coffee cup. I would love to do a hat, like a beanie, you know, like, and then, like, like some kind of like bag, like zip up style makeup, but make it like, you know, in between, I guess what I'm trying to say, not make it for a woman or a man. Right. So it should be unisex or it should be. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah. 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 Sure. That's what I, I was trying to say. But the wicked clouds. Woo. Woo. Oh. <laughs> whoop whoop yeah. guys or okay. loin cloth yes we're gonna make loin cloths oh that's a good idea i know dill wants one has anyone said it yeah <laughs> called that one <laughs> yeah beanies guys um so dang we're so close man i wanted to give away something so cool today i know yeah. we're really close too and we're, we're all, really close we're gonna end it at an hour correct low mm. it's 57 mm. I don't know. About, about three minutes. So. Oh, boy. Yeah, because nobody's asking to be on panel. Nobody's really showing any interest here. Uh -huh. All right. Um, um, okay, so let's see. We got, we got the bum bag. That's what Americans call it. What is uh, a bum bag? Isn't it like the... Uh, the shit from the 80s or, or the late 90s. Oh, are you talking about a fanny pack? Yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. that who was it? A fanny pack. Oh, uh, Jane. Okay, fanny pack. Would you guys rather it be uh the like as far as the merch, do you like the strange suspicion or do you like logo-ish for things? I think I would prefer like a logo. You know, there was a logo in the community. Uh, I'm sorry, paid members. If you remember in the community post, there was a symbol. Jeff, I think you remember, because um, you commented on it, I'm sure, that somebody had thought was something else. But I thought it was cool, because it would have been right in the center of your forehead, and it was like an eyeball, like right here, like a third eye kind of. I thought that would look kind of cool. And then I was thinking like Red Rum Crew, but I mean, I don't know, like, do you guys feel like that's like over the top to put Red Rum Crew on something? Or, you know, I mean, we're not... I'll try to like come up with some things and some stuff and we could put it out there. You know what I mean? Oh, what's right. going on with this camera? I don't know. It seems like you're going in and out. Like I'm going to look that no. both on merch. Yeah, we should, you guys, I can't, it's weird. For some reason the chat's not, I can't read it really well. So we were going to give away something. Um, if we got to 100 viewers, some for some reason we're struggling with that. I don't know. If we're at the same time as someone else is live, or I'm not sure. Boots likes Red Rum Crew. So let's see. That's crazy. I look over to the side, guys, and I just saw um, Bigfoot. <laughs> I'm like trying to see where I'm at, like within the stream while I'm in the stream, and it's very confusing. But I was, uh, we just got a, I think, okay. we did, I think you just got a cash app, Bob, for five yeah. bucks. Yeah, I did. Did you get the name Thank or did you. you miss it? No, I missed Dang. the name. Let me see. No, I missed it. Crap. Well, thank you, $5 donator to the cash app. <laughs> I, shoot. <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Okay, so no eyeball. Okay, Jen does not want the eyeball. Hmm. Okay, so somebody donated five dollars to the Cash App, and we really, really appreciate that because we are actually going to put money away for some newer contacts for me and for the microphone. We're trying to use money we make on YouTube towards YouTube and not spend as much money on YouTube because we've gone a little bit 
past our budget so far. And we, we've only been doing this for six months, guys. And I mean, uh, that looks crazy. Is that your painting? Yeah, can you see it? I can. I think they can too. <laughs> Tony's like, what the fuck? Oh, that's better. Yeah, I just want to get the exact number here. So you guys, right now we're at, let's see if you can see this. Nope. Nope. Oh yeah, maybe. Right now we're at 3,964. And I think a week and a half ago, we were at 2,600. A week and a half ago, guys. So from 2,600 to 3,964. In the job, Right. That's crazy. <laughs> you guys have been, ooh, 420 hand towels. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. It's just so Bob's got here. He has a painting there. He also has these stickers he had made that say, I break for cemeteries. Um, oh, blah. You, we still got paranormal people in here. People, are there people still in the chat that enjoy paranormal? Did you put that video together or no? Negative. Oh, crap. Okay, so uh, if you have checked out our paranormal YouTube, please write shaken paranormal in the chat because I'm curious because I have something that I have an idea for a giveaway. So if you have checking out uh, Yvette Clifton, if you are unaware, we have a channel called Shaken Paranormal. I'll write it in the chat and put it on the screen. Cash app. You guys, you guys got to not do that right now. Don't cash app right now. <laughs> so where is what I just wrote? Oh. It's right here. Sorry, guys. Right there. So if you can see the screen right now, you see that? Um, Bob and I have another channel, and it's called Shaken Paranormal right there. And We do paranormal there, rando nautica. We do anything else, Bob? Uh, can't hear you. Abandoned buildings. Um, can you you can you turn your mic on? There yeah, you go. Sorry, I'm doing stuff backstage here. Sorry about that. Um, it's okay. <laughs> um. Do you want me to try to play one of our videos? Sorry if I'm on video, like picking my nose. I'd... I don't think you were. Were you picking oh, okay. your nose? No. Is yeah. anybody in the chat interested? Are you talking about Shaking Paranormal? Yeah, I could play one of our a short video or something. You want? Yeah. Um, also, I just want to point out before you do that. Oh, here you go. Before you do that, um, if you guys again want to see my face and you go to shaking paranormal you look for the haunted ha what is it called haunters yeah haunters video i'm gonna remove myself here for a sec okay yeah so there's a video on there and it's called um let me look so i'm sorry you guys i'm, I'm trying to be prepared like i said i'm very medicated i'm distracted by all these things that i'm trying to do at the same time but um, the video itself on Shaken Paranormal, if you guys want to go sub up on that one, that would be great. Because the more, more interest we have in both channels, the more we will be doing both channels. And hopefully we will be getting enough members on this channel to go full time. Because the oh, Yvette just subbed to it. Awesome. So um, the video that I was trying to point out is called, I think it's called Haunters. I don't know. I will let you guys know after Bob plays whatever he's going to play. But, um, oh, Rock Chalk, you have a good evening as well. So he's going to play one of our paranormal videos. And if you stick around, we just might have the giveaway. So stick around, please. And we will be um, chatting with you along in the, in the chat. Thank you. 
Hey, it's Weird Bob. Me and Pierre are out here We're doing Random Auto Code again. I received an email, someone from the UK, and the intent is going to be evidence of Bigfoot. I'm hearing noises all around me. There's probably a Sasquatch over there right now looking at me. Let's go. Okay, so our point, over here? Our point is up down this trail somewhere, which uh, looks like they're just over here on the road. Here. Look, keep your flashlight high just in yeah, case we see here. some some eyes of the Sasquatch. Are there bears over here? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. May maybe, maybe there might be. I'm not real sure. Oh we could have a bear massacre on our hands. Is that what you're saying? I hope yeah. not. Fuck that, man. I'll fucking fuck my chest out at that motherfucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at these branches. This is cool. What the fuck? Yeah. This is a sense. Yeah. That's what, you know what? I was watching this show. It was on Discovery Channel. And they were up in Canada or something. That's a frog. And this is like sign of Sasquatch right here. Like they pile branches up. Really? And like do X's and like mark. What the fuck is that about? Fuck. There are a lot of fucking noises, man. This sucks. Wow. This sucks really bad. Holy crap. Um. Is that? Like Chilling like a Sasquatch guy. I hope not. <laughs> I'd rather run into a Bigfoot than some dude out here. Like a big dude, okay. They call me Satchy. Okay, our point is like right up this way somewhere. This is a weird looking trail. I'm kind of afraid to go down it. I heard a noise. I can hear water running. I hear things scurrying over this way. Okay, let's go. Oh, fuck my head. That hurt really bad. I just cranked my neck. So our point is in this area. What's that? That's the third one. It's really good. I mean, that's not like when the Sasquatch is withering. What does it say? Data. Like shine away from it a little bit. It's like what? 200 plus. Oh, it must be like a date. Wow. Big, big foot out here doing vapes. Yeah. Sweet. Does he do dabs? All these edibles on here. All the berries. What about the cows? What is that? I don't know what that is. Next year, right? Yeah, hold this for a minute. So I can just look at it. Are you going to go take it? What? 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 I don't know what it is, but I have an eyeball. It says Sasquatch. <laughs> no fucking no way. No way. Come on. No fucking way. The leg. Is it a bus? Give me the sash. The Legend of Sasquatch. It's a book? It's got William Hurt in it. It's a, it's it's a movie. It's a movie. It's a movie? It's, a movie? It, it's evidence of Sasquatch or a bit of a legend of Sasquatch. <laughs> That's Look hilarious. Her. No way. She got scared. Here, grab that for me. Thank you. What's that in the middle on the bottom? Looks like Scooby Doo. It's a movie. I'll watch it. That's cool. <laughs> well, I don't know if that proves. It's a big foot. I don't Too think much it... entertainment. 
I don't think it proves no, that there's right? a Bigfoot. It's out of time. Oh, it's a, it's a lightning bug, I think. Yeah. I said it was like a Bigfoot dog. It was a baby. Yeah, there is actually. Okay. Let's try to get out of here. Let's go back to the... Let's go back to the park. Maybe we'll catch Bigfoot on the way back here. Get some Bigfoot evidence. Besides a stupid movie. What the hell? That was, I guess that was a cool... That was a cool intent, though. But this is Bigfoot. This is definitely Bigfoot territory. Uh, yeah. Probably. This one doesn't turn red, does it? Yeah. Did I just throw something on the Our intention is watch from afar, and we've heard noises up here. There's something out the window, we think. Yeah, I think they threw something out the window. They're coming this way. They turned way up here, I think, so. Did you see anything? It's a fucking oh, picture. It's a, um, what the fuck is it? Is it a card? What kind of bank do you have? It's a fucking picture. No, no, not the card. Let me look at it. Let me look at it. How many people are there? One, two, three, four, five. What's that? Yeah. Is that the back of them? Yeah. What? Like they're being watched. Take this, take this, take this. Okay. 
Oh no. It was just the phone. chased somebody dropped the picture off and they chased us we stopped the video they chased us um the intent was watching from afar my truck is right up here right? Is that yeah no it's a tree it looks like let's get back to the truck Hey, so guys, we have that channel, Shake and Paranormal. Um, Bob just randomly picked that video that was Randonautica. We also do a lot of um, paranormal and abandoned places, stuff like that. We have um, 90 videos over there. And um, so I just want to I just want to play a fun game just for me, guys, because we're going to be letting you know anyway next week. What state do you think we live in? I'm just curious, what state? And we'll give you a clue. You give a clue, Bob. It's there. You know, it's on the East Coast, so give him a clue. I do see that Stargate sleuth. She was suggesting a T-shirt thing. Um, that horn is creep. Gives me the air. Carhartt. Carhartt is your clue. So the reason that I am giving you guys this uh, piece of information is due to the fact that now you know we do have a uh, state of confusion. Yes, Pub Giant. Yes, yes. <laughs> Always in a state of confusion. Exactly. State of confusion. Um, the dark side. Yeah. Well, the reason that I'm stating this is because we have a lot of new people from TikTok and they are making crazy amount of suggestions for our paranormal stuff. And they're dying to know what state we're in because some people would like to do paranormal investigations with us. And some people live closer than others. And some people just would like to suggest content. So I'm wondering if anybody has any guess where we're from. There's a lot. There's a couple of guesses in here. What does it say? I can't see, babe. My eyes hurt. Oh, uh, we got Maine, Michigan, Wisconsin, uh, Vermont, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> New Jersey. Yeah. Oh, I saw New Jersey. New Jersey. No one got it from my. Uh, yeah. Hints. Um, Give me your accent. What? From your accent? No. Nobody. No, bud. No, bud. They still Nobody. didn't guess. Eh? Didn't guess? I thought one person guessed. Some Someone might have got it. I don't know. I heard you say it. Let me find it. Someone might have got it. I don't know. And the winner is 13th hour. Oh, Michigan. We are in Michigan. 
here you go, guys. Mystery solved. We're in Michigan. <laughs> so if you do want to ch check out the um, Shaken Paranormal, we do have something really, really cool that I think I would recommend besides the Haunters video where you can see my face several, several times. I'm pretty much the narrator in that video. Um, there is a video, and it's our second trip. Our first trip school too, but our second trip to um, Seven Gables Road, guys. It's a... Um, urban legend where this woman she bob do you want to help out with this one <laughs> uh supposedly she was a witch she was hung f from seven one okay no oh yeah 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 okay, yeah okay so there was a witch there originally that was in the woods there she was banished i think and then yep. they um, a it was her property Yep. And like, I guess a bunch of people went out there with, you know, went to kill her and they hung her from a tree. Okay. So one of the guys that was involved, he was, I believe, was he a judge? Man, I wish I would have looked. Okay. And he had a bunch of children. Yeah. He had a bunch of children and he went crazy and ended up hanging all his children from the seven gables of his house. So like the columns, guys, if you don't know what that is. Yeah, it's like the the peaks type dealio. These um, things. Yeah, it's kind of a weird story. I don't know if it was a true story. I don't think it can really be proven if it was true or not. I think that was part of the story. So, but yeah, yeah and we did take that. That was one of the instances where we took somebody along. We actually took one of our subscribers along. His name is Andrew Mosier, and um, we took him on uh, with. Um, okay, so you guys, when you see Seven Gables Road, it's the second one. And Andy's with us, and we use the Necrophonic app. We use the, oh my gosh, um, Spirit Talker app. We use the, oh, what is Necrophonic, and what's the other Necro? Uh, Necrometer. Necrometer, yeah. You guys, we used a lot of apps in, the, in that video. Like, I cannot recommend that video more if you are into paranormal. We got so many results on this video at this location. And it's the second time we went there, but we had to leave because it was so, the air was so, like, the precipitation and the humidity were out of control. It was like we were getting eaten alive by these mosquitoes out there. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Michigan, but mosquitoes should be like the state bird. Like I know they're not birds, but you would think they were here in Michigan. There was but, actually a really good movie called Mosquito made in Michigan. Oh, there was? Is it a horror yeah. movie? Yeah, and the guitar, our, the guitar player from... Um, Jeez, the Stooges, which is like oh. Iggy, Iggy Pop and the Stooges. He was right. in that movie. I think I tortured you <laughs> making you watch that movie one night. I don't, you probably don't remember, but. Maybe I fell asleep. Yeah, it was, it's pretty old. But <laughs> Mosquito, yeah. check it out. Yeah, I think it, it's yeah. actually on Amazon Prime. I was so stoked when I saw it was on there. I, I remember like geeking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I've been looking for this movie for like 10 years. But, yeah. yeah, I don't there. I I don't think I've seen that one. I seen the one that was called Mosquito Coast, and I think it was like in South America or something. Something. But anyway, I just wanted to tell them about the um about the shaken paranormal. Yes. And and also, um, I wanted you guys to know that we we really enjoy whether there's like one person in chat or a thousand people in chat and we do this because we we enjoy it like if if it was possible we would do it full time i know bob would be very interested in doing it full time he is really incredible with paranormal and with all kinds of editing and you guys he he plays a bigger part than you would ever realize on this channel like he is absolutely 50 or more percent of this channel um, he doesn't really care to be on camera so much and maybe he'll get used to it and you guys will be able to see him more. But, um, I do, I do want to just stress that if we could be with you guys every day, we would, I've gotten a lot of emails about like, when are you guys going to go full time? It is absolutely hard to do that on YouTube. They do not pay as much as you guys would think. We, we probably made $4 a video so far. 
I mean, uh, not four dollars. That was dumb. <laughs> not four dollars. We make we make a probably about ten or fifteen dollars per video that we've put out, and so that's not enough to pay the bills. But when 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 we can figure out a way to do that, whether it's through merch, whether it's through memberships, whether it's through any of that, if you guys have any interest in us going full time with the paranormal thing or with both channels, just like try to support us with likes and comments and shares and try to recommend our content to people that you know that will enjoy it. Um, shares go a long, long way. You'd be really, really, really surprised. Like even if you can't get someone to subscribe, a share counts as a view, a view counts as an opportunity for a subscriber and this every single view will count. They, they do it by the thousands though. You have to get a thousand views in order to get paid. I think that's what it is. And um, I don't know. It, it is it is very hard. So for those of you who have been emailing us and trying us to get us to do like, like I know we're going to be doing something for Johnny V. If you're in here or if you're on the replay crew, crew, Johnny, we are absolutely going to take care of covering the case that you are involved in your own personal case. The P.O. Box is going to be available next week for everybody to send us any kind of content suggestions or anything that you want featured on the show. Um, we encourage content suggestions. We encourage all your feedback, whether it is agreed upon or not by Bob or I. Um, we have no, I'm trying to read at the same time, sorry. <laughs> um, basically all I'm saying is we do want to be with you guys every day, but we're working on it, you know? so. It's, it doesn't have to be about money, guys. You don't have to be a paid member, even though uh, paid memberships start at $2.99 a month, which is like 29 cents a video. But your, your like and your share is just as valuable. And you just being here, even if you don't use social media, is very, very valuable. But the goal is for the next month to get to match our subscriber count um, from this last 28 days. We got 1,164 subscribers in the last 28 days, which is incredible so if we could if we could make that again we could open our youtube store because i guess they want you to have 5,000 subs in order to do that which is way more convenient it will keep the cost of the merch down which we are interested in doing for you because of the fact that um they don't it's like a drop ship company and all the middlemen and all the fees will be totally like lowered or or not even used because it's going direct from YouTube. So hopefully we will have merch up in the next month or so, and then we'll get closer and closer to being able to be with you guys every single day. And we will take any content suggestions that you have. I feel like I'm just babbling now, Bob. Do you want to say something and save me, please? Yeah. Um, I had a good show, I think. Yeah. I'm probably going to end it. Yeah. Because I'm hungry. Me too, and I didn't take my pill yet, so I want to eat. Okay. Well. So we could FaceTime. I could walk around the cemetery by my house while you use the spirit box and see if spirits would enjoy technology. Dillhole, that is quite an incredible idea. Dillhole's a big, longtime fan. He um, actually found out who we were through Drip Drop back when we were only Shaken Paranormal. And he stuck with us, didn't even realize it because I had this on my face. But Pia Babbles, okay, right, Jane? You guys should call me Babbles the Clown. That's what I think. <laughs> I am Babbles the Clown. There, see? So, all right. So, yeah, exactly. Exactly, Jane. So, for those of you, once again, in the UK, Jane, I'm talking to you. And for those of you who plan to watch us on Saturday, we will have a long live stream. And when we get to 100 subscribers, we will be giving, I mean, not subscribers. When we get to 100 viewers in that stream, you guys are going to let us know. Unless you want, are we doing it today or Saturday, Bob? The giveaway? Yeah. Um, I could do the big one Saturday if you want to do that one now. Let's wait till Saturday. Okay. Because then so I can like make sure everything's correct on our end when we do it. Oh, true, true. Okay, so guys, Saturday, it's going to be at noon 20, so 12.20 p.m. Eastern, which central, let's just do this because you guys do this in the comments to me every time. 12.20 Eastern in the afternoon on Saturday. 
11.20 Central, 9.20 a.m. Pacific, 4.20 p.m. UK time on Saturday. Jane, did you hear that? 4.20 p.m. Saturday. Boots, I did get your email just so that you know. I hope you didn't just take off right away. Because it says you're having have a wonderful rest of your day, PN Bob. I can't be there Saturday. I have plans, but I know you'll have a great show. And we will be sending out your giveaway because you were a winner. Um, as well as who are the other ones? 13th hour and Morgan. I didn't see Morgan in here, but I do believe she sent today her address. Yeah. You're on the replay crew, and I'm wrong. Please send me the address. Um, uh, Stargate Sleuth, please email us about this comment right here. I would appreciate that. Uh, Ghost Radar. I, I'm not familiar with that app, but I would be willing to try that. No problem. So I want to thank each and every one of you, Cyborg Mama and whoever else donated today. I know Cyborg Mama sent $20 on the cash app, which was very, very kind. And I, what did you, Bob, do you have the person's name? From cash app? Uh, hang on, let me look. Tani says she gets to marry me. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, nobody wants to marry me, Tani. Nope. I'm a handful, for sure. So let's see. Yep, four four twenty p.m. That's p.m. Jane. And anybody on the replay crew in Australia? Ah man, I don't know. Do you know the time difference, Jane? Let me look real quick. So four twenty p.m. Because I know I have New Zealand, South Africa. Um. Sorry about the typing, guys. Um, so that'll be, ooh, that's not good for Australia. 3.20 a.m. Friday. So if you're a party, party, party animal and you live in Australia and you want to be up at 3 a.m., then that that's a pretty crazy time. But UK, we got you guys, 4.20 p.m. on Saturday. Everybody else, noon 20, so 12.20 p.m. on Saturday Eastern time. And we will be doing giveaways on Saturday more than one, and we will also be live for quite some time on Saturday. So if you don't catch us right away, we're just going to stay on there until you guys are sick of us on Saturday. Thank you for being here, and we'll see you Saturday.